dear friends in Christ, we, though many, are one body. The theme for this year's Bishop's Fund Appeal provides us with the opportunity to reflect upon the larger church, to look beyond ourselves, to care and lend support for the entire family of God, the one body of Christ. I'm Father Terry Lavalley, Rector of St. Mary's Cathedral and Diocesan Administrator for the Diocese of Ogdensburg. For more than 50 years, the people of the Diocese of Ogdensburg have so generously supported the Bishop's Fund Appeal, and for that we are most grateful. Although at this time we do not have a bishop to call our own, the important work supported by this appeal continue and are especially critical in these difficult economic times. The Bishop's Fund Appeal is not, strictly speaking, a fund for our bishop. Your generous support of this appeal is essential to the spiritual growth of the faithful across our diocese. I first started hearing the call to the priesthood just as a little boy. Experiences in my family, a parish, a Catholic school. The call to the priesthood really came within the wider church, it's something I heard all by myself. From my years as a student in Catholic school, my seminary studies, times when I was privileged to work at a counselor at Camp Guggenheim, I've known the support of the Bishop's Fund. It's no different now as I serve in the parish. As we see the Bishop's Fund support behind many parish and diocesan programs, we see in the formation of the deacon who serves our parish and our lay ministers, we've known the support of the Bishop's Fund for our local food pantry during these difficult times. This is the Westport Community Food Shelf. We started about 33 years ago with a small donation from Monsignor Nugent himself and the Federated Church, which amounted to about $50. And whenever there was an accident or an emergency, we would go to a grocery store and we would personally buy what we needed for the people or for the families. Since then, it has grown into what you see here. And we're most pleased because it is a truly a community effort on everyone's part. And we are blessed. We are, as you can see, we are truly blessed with what we have. We are very fortunate this year, we're very lucky this year, to have the additional funds that we receive from the Bishop's Fund. And that $500 has been like frosting on the cake. It has really been a big help for us. It really has. It contributed uh, a nice $500 this year out of the blue when the Bishop decided he was going to disperse a little of last year's uh, Good Samaritan Fund. Money. But also that fund has provided help for in at least three instances in just this one parish for people who are having real problems with their mortgages and with other financial difficulties in uh, this particular time of economic stress throughout the country and this place has been no exception. If I had to... Welcome to Camp Guggenheim. Here in the middle of God's country, the Diocese of Augensburg, this jewel is where our young people, where the people of the diocese come to really know God, to be still, and to let God speak to them. This particular place is so special to me. It's here that I know that every time I come, I reconnect with God in a special way, especially in the beauty of His creation. I started coming to camp when I was um, about 12 years old, and I just remember it being a wonderful place um, that really helped me to form my personal faith and my personal relationship with God um, through being with other campers in such a supportive environment. The staff and I are definitely committed to 
um, providing an experience for the campers that they can take home with them, um, giving them sustainable strategies for um, maintaining their relationship with God and still feeling connected to a faith community even after they leave camp, trying to feel connected in their parishes and um, spreading that to other people around them as well. That's true. And that is their charge. Um, young people are charged with evangelization as much as, as we are, as adults. They stay connected through the rest of the year, through whether it's Facebook or um, something like that. But it's amazing when you see the communities that they build online and they, they keep sharing back and forth. So we plant the seed. It's your support that helps us to keep this special place going. It's a place where our seminarians, and that's why I'm here today, our seminarians are here on retreat. They're here for a few days to come to an out-of-the-way place where they can seek renewal, but also where they can have time just for fellowship before they go back out on their mission. modern society it's, you know the culture today screams at us otherwise you know other than what we're doing you know they, they tell us and they tell the world that that there are certain things that we need to do to be happy and successful in life and ultimately if those if that is not centered on in Christ then it's gonna it's gonna lead to emptiness You'll either leave as a priest and, you know, please God, you'll be a holy priest, or you'll leave as a good Christian man, you know, equipped with the tools to be a good father and a good husband one day. You know, but the seminary strengthens that universal call to holiness, and it just draws you out more and more through daily prayer uh, with your brothers and uh, just interactions each day with the Lord, you know, walking with the Lord day by day. All of a sudden you have so many brothers, so many um, people that you grow very close to, I mean, I look at as these three almost as blood brothers. I've I've gotten to know them so well. We lived together all the time. Apostle last year. Yeah, <laughs> when we went on apostolate together every Thursday, Scott and I went out, that was and trip. it was always a, a it was always fun, and we spent time together and taught the faith together and went to the sick together, and you just grow so close to one another, and then too, I mean, the opportunity for adoration, for adoring our Lord in, in the Eucharist. Um, that's something that's always kept me strong and is something that we take part in together as well. Um, every, every Sunday, every Monday night, we're there before our Lord, asking Him to strengthen us and just listening to Him. Your gifts allow the programs and vital services of the Bishop's Fund agencies to continue to serve the needs of the family of God. All of the faithful, no matter uh, whether we uh, become lay faithful or become priests, we're, we're called to call other people into that sacramental life. The laity are also to live that sacramental life, that, that fount of grace that comes from the altar every single day in the celebration of the Mass. It's a great outreach from the community to the community to show that we are all one in the body of Christ, supporting one another in his work in the world today. It just goes on and on, and it's just wonderful that they really care and really get involved. They're surrounded by peers, they're surrounded by um, a fellowship of, of people, and they can explore their faith, and they're comfortable um, with that exploration. And that's one of the things that, that brings us so close together, is we're all going towards that one that one fount, and we, are, and we all meet there. For the first time, this parish has gone over its goal in the Bishop's Fund collection, so I'm very proud of that. Thank you for being as supportive as possible of the 2009 Bishop's Fund appeal through your prayers and financial contributions. May God bless you and your loved ones.